Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we are going to be uh we're, we're going to be revamping this spawn here, okay? I don't think there's too much flow to it. The map was made like a year and a half ago to 2 years ago. I mainly just made like the assets like trees, uh mesh stuff like that. And then the map was built by a friend, Threesto, okay? He's been in the videos before. He did the lighting in uh in the the running game, the obby game. I forgot what I called it. Zone Runner, I think. I, I don't remember <laughs> anyways he did the lighting in that game and he built this map uh like like just about two years ago i want to say so i'm gonna be redoing the spawn simply because it's a simulator and it doesn't feel flowy i guess uh i there's a few things i have to add i need a dungeon entrance which i may or may not be building today because it won't be coming out on a release i need i made a whole list really so right here so I need these, which I'm going to probably keep in crates, but put them somewhere else. I want different paths because these, I don't know, they're kind of uh, thick. All right. I don't think they need to be this thick. Definitely some good leaderboards. I like the aesthetic of these, but they're just gray and kind of dulled out. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them that color. And the houses, they're good houses. They give some life to the game, but uh, the placement of them is a bit off for my liking. So I'm going to kind of revamp the spawn definitely redo the lighting this is uh tragic to say the least but <laughs> let's hop into uh let's just get started all right guys so started out i deleted a couple of the houses and then i moved some to like the outer edges i rotated this one here so you could kind of see it from when you spawn in um it was like kind of rotated backwards just a little bit like back here so that didn't really work out for uh for me so now what i think i want to do is add the paths we have a vip zone right there so i need to add a path to back there a path to this door and a path to this door and maybe a path to wherever i plan on putting the dungeon i don't overly know where it's gonna go yet though all right guys so far so good i have smoother paths laid out the other ones were a bit jagged a little rough which matches the like flatter look like if i built this map today i would shade smooth everything i just think the aesthetic is a lot better overall but once again this map was built two years ago and it, it wasn't built by me so i guess i don't have much say but it is an incredible map and i can't wait to show you guys the whole map but i won't be doing that today we're just kind of working on this spawn now i'm thinking players will spawn in around this cashmere circle we're gonna put a fountain or something in here for now we can just add some of the decoration that we have out here so i like this little big little rock combo let's grab that and then uh we'll, we'll grab these grass pieces as well and i'm just gonna duplicate those so they stay in their respective folders and bring them right over here raise them up a little bit and then kind of move stuff around so it's not the exact same as it was over there i don't know if we're keeping the big rock <laughs> maybe like a, a little bit big of a rock but we can't have anything like that huge we're gonna be putting a fountain of some sorts here i think fountains are very important in like every simulator game just look at any front page simulator <laughs> there's no reason for it they just have a good aesthetic as long as you build them right my one in vortex simulator was pretty bad so i'll put a fountain it right there um i did move the houses more towards what the heck i did move the houses more around towards the outsides uh it just looks better to me and i'm trying to think of where i want to put the dungeon entrance one thing where i want to put it is maybe like up here so you have to kind of like get up to it i think that'd be pretty cool but i don't know if it really makes sense for a dungeon entrance unless i made it like a mine entrance but that i don't know if that would work another thing is like up against the wall here so it kind of looks like you're going into the mountain or underneath the mountain but i'm not sure I, I think up here might it might be the icing on the cake all right so up next for flow wise uh if we're spawning in right here where do i want the crates to be all right so i'm not sure exactly where i want the crates yet they might be in a good spot overall i did copy the little uh staircase thing i made for the upgrade machine and i think it'd be a cool thing to put a daily rewards chest on so where am i gonna put that probably right here where this big rocket simply because it's like in between where they can go for vip or where they can go to purchase a zone if they go the more expensive route that's one thing that's really cool about this game in my opinion like you can pick which way you want to go it's not just like one way and the map is set up more for an open world vibe so I'm hoping for the best I really am i think i'm gonna switch the side the rock and the grass is on because there's like more of a cutout on this side give those quick rotation something like that works for me and i'll probably rotate this just a little bit as well i still actually have to build the chests for this game i need to build two of them but i'll probably do that as a tutorial because a lot of people have been asking for it like hey how do you build the chest so i'll probably do that later on in some sort of a video but for now this will work 
and I could put some sort of a placeholder here. So let me just add a block. If you guys want to see how to build an actual chest, no problem. Your boy is coming in clutch. You know, rotate the top a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the chest will look better than this when the game comes out guys uh, after I make a tutorial on how to make a chest But for now, that's what we got and uh, we'll go ahead and make this one like uh, like a, Maybe a red or a purple. I'm thinking I like this, but it's like too much lighten that up a little Yeah, that'll work and then I'm just gonna duplicate this and move one into the VIP zone and we'll turn that one more of like gold There we go all right, so quick little update for you guys. I got these leaderboards. I just changed the color of them because the build of them is like, I mean, there's no reason to change it. Looks fine to me. And I moved them around a bit. I added another one as well. And I moved this house because, hey, it not really fit in my fancy where it was. So, crates, I'm thinking you'll spawn in here and I kind of want you to just be able to look around and be like, wow, there's a lot here to do. There's a lot to explore, everything like that. So we have our gems chest right here. We have our crates here. And I think I'm going to keep them there, but move them closer and rotate them a bit so they kind of match up a little bit better with right here. Now we can move the grass and the rock kind of out of the way, something like that. Uh, but we are going to kind of overlap the rock. Something like that works for me. Now we need some sort of a shop, which I don't know exactly where I want to put it. Part of me is saying right here, but then it might feel a bit cramped. So I'm kind of like fighting with myself on where I want the shop to be. We have points of interest on this side, which is the crates, this side, and this side. So like over here is the only spot that really needs something. Maybe I'll replace this house. Um, and instead of the house, we can put a shop over here of some sort. So for now, let me just grab this house, put it like right here, but I am going to have a little path to it. Not a long path, but just something to kind of break it off. Um, so it's not like right at the circle like everything else is. So just something to like give a little, little bit of distance to it. And I think we want at least one kind of curve. Not that harsh, probably like a, a negative 10. That'll work. And then we'll just kind of put the house at the end of it. This will turn into a Robux shop when I build one, but I'm saving those for tutorials, okay? So, so we're gonna put that right there and we're gonna make it like all one color. Boom, <laughs> look guys, it's the White House. <laughs> Let me grab this and this maybe? I don't know. Turn it gold? Yeah, something like that. This actually, like this is already looking like a, a shop. So we're gonna, we're gonna kind of have it like that. I am gonna delete the chimney because I don't think it's necessary. And maybe I'll put money signs up here. I don't know if I'll be building one or not just yet. But so far, so good. What's next? Things just feel real heavy like on this side. And there's not much on this side. So I'm trying to figure out what do I want to do just for something right here, maybe this will be the dungeon entrance. So you feel more cased in until you go outside of the main box. Well, I guess circle. So you'll be spawning in right here and then like you can look around, you'll see all this stuff right by you. And then once you go out of it a little bit, then you can start exploring the map. So this may be the dungeon entrance. So placeholder wise, that'll do it, okay? <laughs> it looks pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, there's a beautiful word called placeholder. So it can look bad as long as it's only a placeholder. This is more proof of concept than anything uh, before I finalize changes and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I think the dungeon entrance right here is actually a dope idea. I do wanna move it back some and maybe have like a broken rock path towards it so it'll be back just a little bit and then uh i can take these rocks i might make different ones and make like a stone pebbly path towards it i'm not sure how stoked i am about what the crates are sitting on here uh it doesn't really go well i guess let me see can i change this to like a gray make it more you know unique i guess maybe even this red Ooh, oh snap that that's kind of cool but <laughs> i want to keep the uh the colors in here so let me just grab these like a nice red like a a poppy color i think i don't know that looks really good and really bad at the same time i think i'm gonna keep gray for now i don't know something about it all right guys i think i found the best of both worlds here we have a gray and then a red inside i think that looks pretty cool a lot better in my opinion and I think spawn's pretty much done. I have a lot of placeholder stuff. I need to make chests for sure. Probably some sort of a different step thing that's, uh, I don't know, maybe rounded on the back. This is real flat just because, I mean, it, it did its use. And I think it's about it. Both of these can go somewhere. These are not even in the spawn. They're just kind of test stuff. 
All right, so I think this is actually looking pretty sick. Let me go ahead and anchor this because I know I didn't. I never do. Anchor that. Anchor my chest over here. All right, so here's all the parts I added in today. Let me go ahead and anchor those. And I'm going to unselect the chest. Unselect this like weird guy right here. Other chest. And I think these should only be the path. Yep. So I'm going to just name that path. And your boy's back to organized. All right, up next, I want to build the little uh, kind of a ring type thing. So let me just spawn it apart real quick. Uh, I'm going to bring this a little bit smaller like that and bring it up a good bit because it doesn't need to be that. Oh, is this new? Like that yellow marker? That's kind of cool. I mean, probably just saying, hey, bro, you reached your, your smallest limit or whatever. But uh, that's pretty cool. And I'm going to launch this up and we're going to make a circle real quick. I think I'll probably go a little more boxy on these, but not too bad. 20 should do well. Let's make that a circle. Yeah, looks pretty good. So that's going to be these guys right here. Make sure I anchor those and group those together. And now we have our little circle that we can use for this right here. Move that back a bit. Perfect. And we'll make that a nice purple and neon. Now I'm thinking about grabbing every other one and making like every other one not neon okay we're not doing that maybe just a little lower on the transparency something like that looks pretty cool now i'm gonna go to my plugins and i have the building tools right here go to scale and increments at 0.25 and i'm just gonna scale all of the down Ooh, we're already on 0.25 0.15 scale all of those down just one and i think that's gonna look pretty cool yeah does the trick for me honestly I'm just going to move that back where it goes. Perfect. I'm going to have another one over by the Robux shop right here. And by no means is this shop done, but it's a work in progress. Let's turn that one gold. That's probably more of a yellowy. Oh, no, that's the gold color. Uh, we're, we're probably going to darken it a bit. It's too dark. We'll keep something like that for now. I don't think we really need one at the dungeon because there's not really any point. We can't have one in VIP, though. Right there works. And we're going to go for straight gold on this one, which will be more yellowy. Kind of, you know, god, godlike, god sent, whatever you want to call it. But there we go, guys. I think the spawn revamp is done until I create the placeholder stuff. But I know you guys have been asking for a chest tutorial. And I think it'd be fun to make the dungeon entrance on a video. That's not something I want to rush. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.